for Chief Brody, there's a new sheriff in town. This is a 1975 Chevy Blazer. This has been my obsession since I was eight years old when I first saw Jaws. Any day it's not raining, I try to, it's my Seacoast car. It's my Seacoast car. I live right here in Portsmouth. So uh, if it's uh, over 45 degrees and not pouring rain, uh, this is my vehicle driving around town. Gabe DiSaverio has been a lover of all things Jaws since he was in elementary school. I actually uh, got into Jaws by reading the book. So again, I was eight years old and I got Jaws. I was really already into sharks and all the presents I would get as a kid for Christmas and my birthday would be shark books or shark related. The collection has grown and grown and the obsession has turned into a passion for shark conservation that was sparked after speaking with Jaws author Peter Benchley's wife, Wendy, at a Jaws fest on Martha's Vineyard. To this day, between 100 and 120 million sharks are killed every year. And so I was talking with Wendy Benchley, and she gave me half an hour of her time, and she told me how she started uh, this nonprofit called Shark Savers. So that day, I immediately signed up, became a part of Shark Savers, and that's what got me into shark conservation. It seemed only natural that when the Jaws fanatic decided he was going to start a hot sauce company, that it would blend both of his passions. The idea started bouncing in my head and I was like, you know, because I always ate really hot things and I always really liked spicy food and I, I credit my mom to that. She always had us try everything whether we liked it or not. And I think that these, we call them the heat seekers and you know, I'm one of them. But uh, literally, you know, what, what capsaicin does and uh, that's the heat in the pepper, it releases endorphins in your body and kind of gives you a little high, a little bit of happiness. And I think we're always chasing that. And this is a very healthy and responsible way to do that. His marriage is even one forged in hot sauce. He realized on his third date with his now wife, Jill, that she was also a hot sauce fanatic. Out of her purse, she pulls a bottle of Tabasco. And I said in my head, I go, that's it, I'm marrying her. The Spicy Shark launched in 2018, and already they have 12 products setting shelves and mouths on fire. This is where it all began. All the recipe development happened in this tiny kitchen. And my favorite feedback that I get is, oh my God, each one of these is so different than the other. The original hot sauce started out with a family recipe. The first thing we ever made, and it's a combination of my sister and my uh, recipe. So this is a habanero hot sauce with notes of carrot and ginger. About a mid-level heat. Um, what we have here is we have a very scientific five-fin heat scale, okay? I, I am the scientist. And so we go from mild to wicked hot. And each and every label has, you guessed it, a shark associated with it. So we also have our nurse shark, which is a jalapeno style. Our thresher shark is the chipotle. The uh, tiger shark, which is a ghost pepper. Caribbean reef shark, which is the scotch bonnet. Our megalodon, which is a Carolina reaper sauce. In just two years, the spicy shark has taken the hot sauce world by storm. So the Scovies, uh, which come out of Albuquerque for the Fiery Food Show, the Scovies are the Oscars of the hot sauce industry. So we submitted a bunch of our products, and then, uh, you know, one year later, we won seven Scovies, including Best in Show with our hot maple syrup. We have accounts in the Florida Keys, in Anchorage, Alaska. We're in a dive shop in Honolulu. Um, we're, <laughs> we're in New Zealand. They've even had to raise the heat rating system to six fins with their latest addition to the family, the Hamagata. Louisiana born, seven pop primo pepper, Carolina reaper, scorpion, and habanero. And so I said, well, we have a five fin heat scale. Like what, this is gonna be hotter. What are we gonna do? Well, it's called the six fin series. So now we have a sixth fin over here. And then I said, well, geez, we already have the Megalodon. The Megalodon is the largest shark to ever exist. What's bigger than that? Well, imaginary creatures that I create in my head. Half hammerhead shark, half alligator, spelled with a New England accent. He's the Hamagata. He's what I keep on my holster here. I have him pretty much every day. Wondering how best to eat the heat? 
So a lot of people uh, ask me when making wings, do you marinate the wings in your wing sauce or do you toss them after? And I say the answer is yes. From a Jaws margarita with spicy shark hot maple syrup to hot honey cream cheese or a sriracha aioli, there is a spicy shark ready to heat up any dish from breakfast to dessert. The hardest question, I never do an event or a show with someone saying, what's your favorite? And it's like, you know, it's picking your favorite kid. And the answer is, it really depends on what I'm eating. Let the feeding frenzy begin. I'm most proud about is our label. We have such a clean label. Um, we're Whole Foods clean. We're stricter than the Whole Foods clean list. No matter what, the most important thing are the ingredients that go into the bottle, bar none.